Hi, this is Tamako Iwaka, and welcome to Global Perspectives. What we thought would be the summer doldrums this week ended up in a bit of a geopolitical tension. Over the past weekend, the UN uh, Security Council unanimously agreed to take sanctions against North Korea. North Korea's leader, Kim Jong-un, responded by making uh, further threats to the U.S., and the U.S. responded with the fire and fury verbiage. The financial market's reaction was to naturally go into a modest risk-off mode, with stock prices coming down a little bit and the Treasury yields modestly declining. Now, in the foreign exchange market, typically when geopolitical risks are heightened, it's the U.S. dollar that performs as the safest haven currency. However, this week, when the news came out, it was actually the Swiss franc that outperformed the greenback by about 1.2%. The Japanese yen, also a safe haven currency, originally didn't do well, perhaps partly because of its close proximity to North Korea, but by Wednesday, it also outperformed the US dollar, as Japan Inc. decided to bring back their money to their homeland. Now, given the financial market's modest reaction to these threats, uh, the global investors don't think that North Korea is a true threat. North Korea indeed has one of the largest military institutions in the world. However, their total land area is smaller than that of the state of Mississippi, and its total population is less than 8% of the U.S.'s total population. My view. Given the fact that the U.S. dollar's role as the safe haven currency was diminished this week, may be partly due to the fact that the U.S. was directly involved in the verbal war. However, global investors are watching these threats calmly, so perhaps it's unnecessary for Washington to take further action that may diminish the role of the U.S. dollar. Thank you very much, and remember to connect, follow, and have a conversation with us on social media. Have a great day.